All right, Homo sapiens, it's Big Rob. This is my um, video response, my VR to Fred Hart over there at the Gear Obsession channel. Really good channel. If you guys haven't met Fred, he does um, he does he does some review. Well, he does does some. He does a lot of reviews, but um, the the one I find the most interesting is the Play the Truth. If you guys haven't seen the play of truth it's very interesting how he does that he gets a play of steel test out like um ballastol frog lube um rem oil which is really common and he just you know he compares them all does a whole rust test see how they they really protect just just bare steel bare ass steel and sees what rusts first or just you know just how it protects very interesting channel though good guy and this is my vr to you fred uh your question was the how how everybody's saying about December 21st is going to be the end of the world. If we thought it was going to be the end of the world, and if we did, or we didn't, um, if we did, what we're going to do, if we're going to prepare for it. My belief, Fred, it's not going to, it's not the end of the world. It is the end of a cycle. I've um, kind of became obsessed with with the fact that the, the world is ending just because I'm a, I'm a believer, I go to church, I'm a Christian and I do believe it's end, it, the world is ending and it'll probably end my lifetime but um, December 21st I believe it's the end of a cycle there's um, if, if people want to scare themselves there's a lot more stuff that's happening that's in the Bible that's really happening and it's um, it's scary for the people that don't know where they're going or don't have nothing to believe in I tell a lot of people I have a lot of faith and I have a lot of trust and I know exactly where I'm going after I die as long as I stick by the side of the person that that created everything and as long as I keep my faith I feel in my heart I, I feel comforted and I feel satisfied that everything will be okay with my family and myself but people don't understand that and they believe that they'll because they believe in God that he has to do stuff for us he doesn't have to do anything for us we're pretty much on our own if you really look into it this isn't God's world right now he sent somebody else here and he damned them here and it's the devil and he's pretty much the one that rules this world, if you guys haven't noticed. This world's full of evil. But I know as long as I keep my faith, no matter what happens to me on this world, as it says in the Bible, as long as I keep my crown, everything will be all good. And I, I, I don't want to die because I don't want to leave my, uh, my family unprotected, unguided. But at the same time, I'm not scared to die. But I don't want to leave them unprotected and unguided. So, as long as I'm here, I'm going to do that. I hope I didn't get too much off topic, Fred. Just had to tell you what, what I felt about it. But um, while I'm here and shit's hitting the fan, I'm going to do whatever it takes to uh, make sure they're protected. Alright, sorry about that. Battery died. The other camera, I dropped it, broke it. So this one's the um, the replacement until the other one comes back from from the dealer. But um, what I was saying, what the hell was I saying? Oh, but um, Jesus, he died for us. He really did. One of the, one of the one of the best tricks the devil ever the the devil ever did was proof to the world he didn't exist. That's one of the best tricks. If, if, if the creator was on top of a mountain and you've seen him every day, you wouldn't be able to be yourselves. It's just, it's, it's, it's so simple, but people just don't want to understand. He died for us. That's what he did. That's what he did. He don't have to do nothing else. As soon as he died for us, he created the gateway for us. But a lot of people they don't want to understand. 
There's billions, billions of people that are, that are going to hell, that are in hell. Billions. I can't even stress how much it, 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 it hurts me when I see people, they just, they're just negligent. It's, it's amazing too. If you don't believe that there's anything, even, you know, even if I'm wrong, what do I have to lose? Even if I'm wrong, what do I have to lose? Tell me. Nothing. Not a damn thing. But I know for a fact I'm right. How do I know? The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves all of us. All right, Fred Hart. This that's my a bit of response. Hope that uh, touched somebody and hope that helps somebody out. Otherwise, <clears throat> to answer your question, yeah, I'm gonna be doing what I usually do. But um, if, it, if it hits the fan, good thing I grew up in a bad neighborhood, huh? I already know how it goes when she hits the fan. All right, you guys take care. Later.